Yo, what is happening, you crusty bloaters? Galactic Criminal here, and today we've got the very first look, the first official teaser trailer for HBO's The Last of Us. Now, if you've been around my channel for long enough, you would know that I, like many other people, have a very strong connection with this story and these characters. You could say I'm kind of nervous, but I'm a little bit more excited. So, with that said, let us dig in The Last of Us with one, two, Ah, the roses have faded oh. There's frost at my door The birds in the morning Don't sing anymore Joel. The <laughs> grass in the valley Is starting to die And out in the darkness The whippoorwills cry Yo. The darkness is falling The sky has turned gray a hound in the distance is starting to fade. Ah. Alone and forsaken by fate and by man. Oh Lord, if you hear me, please hold my hand. Alone and forsaken by fate and by man. Oh Lord, this is your chance. That shot the mind and keep her alive. The mind and please hold the mind. And you said everything right. The mind and no! Oh my god! Oh my god! I... I, I feel like I, I feel like I almost went through all of the emotions that you go through in the game just through watching that trailer. What? I have thoughts. I mean, just from what we saw from this trailer alone, it looks like they're going for the whole story of the first game. At least from what I could tell. They show the scene where Joel is, is picking up Ellie, which is all bloody. I assume that's after she kills David, which is basically like the end of the game beyond that point essentially oh so many cool shots i can't believe man i'm like i was thinking to myself i could not be more excited but also more terrified to see this game played out in live action however much they stick to the original like plot beats and and shots and, and scenery and what have you regardless as long as they're as long as they're hitting the, the right story beats as long as long as the writing stays just cohesive, which it has to. Druckmann's a part of this thing. It has to be. Man! We saw so much cool shit. They showed, like, the, the spotlight shining on, like, the, the tube. When they're, like, the, escaping the fucking... The, the, the zone, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's so much good stuff. And it looks like, if I'm not mistaken... And I haven't looked up the cast listing yet, but, like... The, the original voice actress for Marlene is going to be playing Marlene. Looked like her. I could be incorrect. We saw Tess, and we saw Bill. We didn't see David, I don't think. In my head, immediately, for some reason, I went to James Woods as as David. He has one of those faces that looks, that can look very friendly, but could turn on you at any time. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of character he, he was, is. So they didn't show that, but they showed a lot. And I'm excited. I mean, before this, all I'd seen was a couple of like photos and a couple of uh, like top down somebody shot with their cell phone camera uh, shots of 
them in some of the scenery that they're going to be a part of. But it was like, and it looked really good though. Like the dressing they used for like, uh, at least the area of the street or wherever they were that, that they shot at. It looked like overgrown and, and perfect, just like in the game. You saw shots here, just like a cityscape kind of crashing over. That looked fantastic. And then we, we got to see a clicker. Very, very short amount of time we got to see the clicker, but there was that, that paranoid tension of the moment where they, they first kind of showed them like hiding from a clicker, which is just it's so important to absolutely get that right. All the sound has to be just on point. Um, I, I couldn't tell for the most part if it's going to be an all CG monster or if they're going to go for the, which I hope they go for, it's a more practical style of effects makeup with CG added to it. Just to give it that much more of like realism that you see like when it's, when it's filmed. Because when it's all CG, I mean, yeah, if it's dark, a lot of the time it is uh, in, in the game. So if it's dark and you see clickers and stuff like that, like the CG can be for, can be forgivable, I guess, at nighttime. Uh, but there's a lot of tough stop at times where you see runners or clickers or bloaters or whatever during the day and during when there's light out, essentially. And you kind of have it look right there as well. And it's not easy. I mean, unless, unless you put some good money behind it, it's not easy to make CG look good, do, like monsters look good during the day, especially when they're more like humanoid, right? You know, if it's like some kind of alien thing, it's easier to get it to weird, move weird and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm just excited. I'm rambling now, but I'm excited. The casting, at first I wasn't too sure, but I think, I think, it, I think it'll be fun. Oh man, it's hard when you love something a lot. And something that's already been seen and experienced many times over visually. It's just, it's really hard. It's easy for me when somebody says, like, a book adaptation into a movie. Well, this is your imagination versus something that they've created, like, their ver their, their vision of. It's not going to be exactly, like, what everyone pictures in their head. You can't possibly, you know, please everyone. But when it comes to something like this that's already been seen and it's just being, like, re revisited essentially remastered if you will <laughs> uh it's gotta be on point i feel good about this i definitely feel good about this very short trailer we didn't see much but from what we did i got the mood the vibes like i said the feels all of the feels from both games came rushing back when i saw the imagery here they showed like i think they showed a flash of him with his watch and stuff or maybe i'm just misremembering I've been watching somebody do a little re uh, playthrough of The Last of Us again recently, the remastered version. Oh. I'm excited. I don't get HBO Max in Canada. Maybe it will show up on one of the platforms that I actually use. Or I can just buy it when it as it comes out. I don't know. I'll find a way. What the rest of you fuckers think of the shit? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video. You can go ahead and watch it for yourself, for screen, for audio, and get the full experience. Tennis always, and yourself! A fantastic evening.